How's it going everyone? I want to compare my old HRR 216 model um, Honda mower about 10 years old. That's when I bought it. I gave it to my parents versus my brand new last year uh, 2021 HRX 217 HYA um, So the one on the left is the HRX 217 one on the right is the HRR 216 the HR216 was later known as the HRN, so now it's the HRN models. Um, that's the newest ones. So the one on the left, actually the right, I'm sorry. The HRR216 weighs 85 pounds. This weighs 97 pounds without gas. Um, the HRX217 has the stronger engine, the GCV200 engine, four cycle. The GCV 160, which is this engine uh, on the HRR 216, is a 160 cc engine, so it's less powerful, according to this. Um, the HRR 216 has a s variable speed transmission. The HRX 217 has a hi um, hydrostatic cruise control transmission, kind of like these snow blowers. That's why I went with it. Um, both have auto choke systems. The HRR216, this one has the six height adjustment. It goes from a quarter inch to four inches. This one has seven height adjustments, the HRX217. It goes from three quarter inch to four inch. Uh, both have microcut twin blades. That's what Honda's known for. Um, the HRR216 has the eight inch wheels. Uh, I guess there is rear bearings in this one. This one has nine inch wheels and all four of them have rear bearings. I paid about $400 or give or take for the HRR216 back in the day. Uh, the HRX, I paid $869 plus tax. So those are some of the stats on this these two mowers. I'll talk about the differences, which one I like better at the end of the video. And... Uh, why I chose, you know, why I bought a new one in the first place. So this one was old reliable, basically. Uh, the HR, we'll talk about the HR R216. Uh, very basic. You can see you got the cruise control right here. So you can adjust the speed. To start it, you have to engage the blade to start it and then pull. I'll show you after. It's got the auto choke system, which I never had a problem. This always starts on first pull, no matter what, for me. It's got the fuel shut off and on. Let me zoom down a little bit. You can see there's a fuel shut off right here and on. It's got the air filter system, or the, uh, oof, that's dirty. It's been a while since I cleaned it. <clears throat> Air filter. Just put that back in. See the air filter there. Uh, gas. Cap. I actually like the looks of the... Uh, this housing better than that one. Uh, the newer one. Or the older one I like better. Steel deck, that's another three in one system. This is a four in one system. We'll talk about that after. Never had leaks on this. The overhead valve. Spark plug, I changed the spark plug one time in my whole life last year, just for the hell of it. Uh, the wheels are really my only negative thing on this. You can see how bald they get, because I, I have a hilly terrain. So I change these like every year. It was a pain in the ass, especially look at the rear wheels. And another problem I've had with this is when I go backwards, it sometimes sticks and it does like manuals. So that's a problem I've had with this machine. Steel deck, so like likely to rust if you don't take care of it. And 
This is the three in one. You go from mulch to bag. Very dirty. There's the number on it if you want it. The HRR 216 uh, 169 VKA. That's the model number. And you can see GCV 160 engine. Easy start, which indeed it is easy, easy start. I'll show you how easy it is to start. So make sure the fuel shut on. Fuel shut off is turned on. Do the lever. One pull every time. Sounds beautiful. Works every time. See the Great machine. So that's that machine. Now let's go to the HRX 217HYA. So I bought this machine because this is their last Honda. Uh, Honda was discontinuing in USA models. So I really want it, you know, an upgraded version of this. Um, the HR R216, I wanted an upgraded version and I have snow blowers. So I, I was digging that hydrostatic. Um, we'll talk about that after. Thing I really like about this is the fuel cap is very, very large. You can see that. So it doesn't spill all over the place. That's nice. Uh, the dipstick on this, the HR216, is very small compared to this. This extends out, so it's nice and easy, um, especially doing oil changes. So I like that a lot. I don't bag, so I didn't bring my bag. Um, I think this one has a bigger bagger than that one, the HR216. But the model on this is HRX 217H K6HYAA. Mama, it says. That's the model number. So the reason why this is a 4-in-1 instead of the 3-in-1 is you got mulch to bag, but you can do in between, which actually, let me show you guys. I'll zoom down a little bit. You can see the door down there. Let's see if I can bring you down a little more. See that door? When you open it, it goes to bag. And when you close it, it goes to mulch. But you can do in between, which I usually do, which is nice. So I really, really dig that system. Um, very convenient. So I like that a lot. I love the nine inch wheels. I haven't had any problems yet with that. The nine inch wheels besides the dealer putting it, the pinion on backwards, that sucked. Uh, huge issue for me, not a big deal, but if you're handy, was this leaked all the time underneath the overhead valve? Brand new, it leaked. So that was a pain in the ass. Uh, this is rear wheel drive. They're both rear wheel drive. You got the air filter right here. You can see, pretty easy. These have uh, nuts you can just take off for the carb. So that's convenient as well. And it has a fuel shut off and shut on. I love that on these Hondas. I wish it had a drain fuel at the bottom, like Honda uh, snow blowers, but they don't, unfortunately. Plastic deck, next site. A lot of people love that. It's been around for years. Nine inch wheels, which I love. Uh, I didn't do those optional bumpers yet. The bumpers on each side. This has, let me see. Thing I like about Hondas too is you can you have two positions or one. Uh, this has only one or two positions. You can see. See how there's? Let me see if I can show you guys. There's two holes here, so you can do it two two positions, and you could store it very easily like this. I love that in the shed, so it doesn't take up a lot of room.
My mom's short, so I'll put it on. So we'll go over here. This one, they kind of color code it, which is kind of cool. Honda. So this is the hydrostatic gears. This is, uh, it goes from low all the way to low. So fast, fast. They go about the same speed, in my opinion. And then you got stop, you got slow, and you got fast. This is the blade control. So you actually, it, this is a pain in my opinion, uh, blade stop, because you have to push down and then hold it. That's why I got this Velcro strap. In the other video I showed you, I just kind of just leave it on there. And then you got the clutch, which is the drive uh, to go forward or back. Actually, it doesn't have back. I wish it did. But I'll show you how easy it is to start. I still think the HRR216 is easier to start. Watch, I'll start at one pull. No, my luck. Let's see here. Feel shut off. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, I'm not on fast, that's why. There we go. Ooh, so you don't have to hold it down like the other one to start it. That's nice. See, I like to... What I like to do is take that valve thing, hold it down. Now... All I have to worry about is the drive. That's nice. So the drive is right here. So I can kind of go on the go, which is nice while doing it. And if I need to, I can just release this easily, you know? So it's not too bad, the Velcro, which I like a lot. And this actually has a slow speed, which this doesn't. So you can slow idle if you wanted to. And this has a stop as well. So that's pretty cool. So let's look at the underneath too. I didn't really look too much into that before. It's an expensive purchase though. It's like a thousand bucks now. These ones, the HRX 217. HR, you can get these cheap on a line. So this, you just feel shit off. I think the gas lasts about the same too between the two. You always want to tip it to the right side. See the bottom. I think those are the mulch blades too I got on that. This you got the right side as well. So you can see over here. Let me see if I can get lower. You got the plastic deck, which I, I keep immaculate anyways. So I, I could have went steel if I wanted to, and it's clean. But it's very tough and durable. I have no worries with that. Uh, transmission, I haven't had any problems or anything. The wheels, I haven't had any problems. Still has good treads, as you can tell. I did red and tacky. But these rear wheels just spin forward like that, and it just stop if you go back. You'll hear that click. It's normal on both sides. And these ones are just, they have bearings, but they spin good. And that's the uh, dual blade. I shouldn't touch anything, but there's two blades. And pretty cool. And then this is the HR R216. You can see I got smaller blades. I think I put that on my parents' mulching blades because they mulch mostly. The wheels you can see are, they need new wheels eventually. But this locks, you can hear the ratchet key. That's kind of rough. Maybe I'll lube it up. It has a ratchet key. This one just spins freely. You can see the wobble. See how much wobble it has over time. This is 10 years old though, guys. And uh, yeah, so those are the two differences between the two. Pretty cool though. So the 
the problems I've had with this mower. I'll talk about the problems I've had with it was uh, the wheels locking up in the back on the HR216. Wheels locked up eventually. And that means like when you, you know, go backwards, it locks up and you can't go backwards. Pain in the ass. Uh, never had a carb issue. Always start a first pull. That's awesome. Uh, the string I had an issue with, which I love because you can just take these three bolts off or nuts off and, you know, put a new recoil. Very easy. That's not the original. Uh, cheap fix, too. Uh, wheels I had to replace every year. That's a pain in the ass on these. Height adjustment, you have two. And you have three on this one, I forgot to say. So you have three height adjustments on this one and two on that one. So that's different. You got for the uh, handlebars. So if you're tall, this one should be better, I think. And what else did I have with this machine? Um, I've always done oil changes every year. Cleaned it every year. It has a little bit of rust. Not too, too bad, though. And I think that's pretty much it. Besides the wheel wobbling. Um, oh, the ratchet. Ratchet and pinion. Um, the ratchet, what's it called? A ratchet key? It actually broke inside the back, the rear wheel. It snapped and the gears grind it. There's a pinion gear, which in my other video, I'll link it. Uh, the pinion gear completely grind it and it wouldn't make that springing noise. And it wouldn't self-propel. I'm like, oh shit, I got to buy a new mower. And I didn't. It was like a $5 part or $10 part. Cheap. And that was an easy fix. But that was 10 years. I had that for 10 years. And those are the issues I've had with that one. Now with this one, I've had for a year. And I've used it a bunch of times. Um, the issues I've had with this one. I brought it to the dealer because of the stupid overhead valve leak. Um, I've had that three, two or three times and they finally fixed it underneath. Um, the overhead valve is what I'm talking about right here. And that would just pour out oil. And uh, they have a Honda bond that just kind of seals around the overhead valve. They don't have an actual seal, which kind of sucks. Another issue I've had with this mower was the uh, hydrostatic you know drive it was really really slow it was probably going like two miles per hour that's why i had to adjust it you'll see in my other video i adjusted it it wasn't too hard what you have to do is there's a nut here and uh you have to go this way to go faster so it's just it's pretty easy you just need two wrenches two small wrenches and then bring it this way so that was pretty easy and uh, another issue I've had, not too much of an issue, but grass just builds up right here. A lot of people talk about that. I don't use the bag though, so I always use it like half mulch, half bag. And what else is the issue? Maybe a price. Um, oh, starting is another issue. Uh, I actually replaced the thermal wax because it was cheap part. And uh, it took me like eight to 10 pulls during the winter when I first started this. And uh, I just think the HR, the HR R216 is a lot easier to start. First pull every time, very basic. You don't have to put it in fast like this one and you don't have to think about it really. But this one, I've always, uh, I've been having issues a little bit with, you know, starting at first pull. It takes me like two, three pulls now, but for Honda, that's kind of a disappointment. Um, all my Honda equipment, has started at first pull. My snowblowers, I had a 22 year old uh, Honda HS1332. Actually, it was 1132. Start first pull every time. And so that's a little bit of disappointment. Uh, the dipstick and the fuel, that's a welcome feature that it's so long you can uh, easily drain it. And the gas tank, you can uh, just pour it with ease. You don't have to worry about spilling like this one. Um, looks wise, I liked actually this one, the, the looks of the shroud and everything over this one, but I'm just hoping the quality hasn't gone down too, too bad with Honda. Um, but yeah, so th those are my issues, my opinions on both of them. 
Uh, if you want basic, you know, a basic quality mower, get the HRR216. That's what I would say. If you want a, uh, you know, high end mower with all the bells and whistles, you can go different speeds. Uh, blade control if you have kids and stuff or ball in front of you. I don't really use it too much, to be honest, the blade control. But this one would do you good. Uh, next side deck, you don't have to worry about so less maintenance. You don't have to worry about the uh, rust. But uh, if rocks hit and stuff, you kind of have to worry about that. Um, these wheels are a lot better, I can tell, uh, than these ones, the 8-inch ones. You got bearings on both, all four. Bearings only on the rear. Um, but we shall see. Uh, so far, I, I think I would have kept the HR R216, but I just got nervous with Honda saying... They're discontinuing the mowers and uh, no more in the USA, which is a disappointment to me. Um, so I just wanted the best, you know, the Cadillac. And um, it's been all right. I would probably, if I had to grade it, I would give this an 8 out of 10. This I would give a 9 out of 10. Uh, the HRR216, just because I loved it. Never really had issues until like the eighth year. This I've had issues since the beginning, so... Um, but now it's running fine, you know, after the dealer and stuff. So I could have taken care of it, but on my own, but, um, it comes with a five-year warranty. So I didn't want to, um, mess with that really. But, all right. Thanks guys for watching. Hope this was enjoyable. Um, this was the comparison between an HRR 216 model versus the HRX 217 HYA model. Um, this is about... I paid about $400 and this one was now about thousand bucks. So just wanted to compare the two and what you get, the different features between the two. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Hope, take care.